Kazakhstan coming out in the red singlet. Sapari Niaz off. Fifth place finish at the Asians a couple of years ago. He was a previous junior Asian silver medalist. Still very young, only 22 years of age. He was the youngest competitor in this particular weight class alongside the Iranian who's only 20, who we'll see later in the gold medal match. Arnie Azov looking for the step out. He has Vicky Vicky backpedaling, skidding on his feet, out of bounds. No step out point awarded. But because of that early action, they are going to warn Vicky about some passivity. Next time he's going to go up onto the clock. Crossing over the first minute in this period. Looked like he was kind of reaching almost for a fireman's carry type angle for Sapar Niazov. A little too far out even for his long arms and a chance for Vicky Vicky maybe to turn it into his favor if he can clear out his right arm from underneath, but he cannot. Second activity clock for the wrestler from India. Shot from space, straight on double on the plunge by Saparni Azov. Good hip defense on the sprawl back by Vicky Vicky. The activity clock expires, a 1 0 lead. A lot of stoppages in this first period. Both wrestlers getting in to what we call a stalemate position. Opportunity really not a present for either wrestler to improve. So once the referee sees that, he blows it dead. Saparni Azov lost his balance when tumbling down. Vicky Vicky trying to take advantage of it. And one more time, we get another stop. Vicky Vicky apologizing. Looked like he almost chopped Saparni Azov in the jaw. Real heavy hands. You see Vicky come in with those collar ties and kind of clobbering you with the hands. Low shot. Saparniazov cracked his head with the kneecap of Vicky. Vicky doesn't have a lot of time. Short time amount. Eight seconds to go. And the referee will give one more start. We have heard the whistle a lot here in this opening period. Not much after three, a one nothing lead. The passivity point has been it. They might take a look at the teeth of Saparni Azov. He took that last shot, he went low, and he hit his mouth right smack dab on the knee of Vicky. And you could tell after it happened, it kind of stunned the wrestler from Uzbekistan. He was holding his mouth, thinking maybe there was going to be blood, maybe even a two. Thank goodness, neither. So he is all right. Getting some words of wisdom from the corner. Referee will make sure both wrestlers are completely dry. Waits for the coach to sit down, checks with the match chairman, and we are underway. Period two. This is our final bronze medal match at 92. Vicky's going to come out at the bare minimum, try at least to do enough offense to make sure that he puts his opponent on the clock. 
wants to try to get that equalizer in. So you'll see Vicky initiate a lot of these tie-ups. Here's Saparni Azov in a match in which takedowns have come at a premium. It's going to be too late for him to try to step on the gas and, and keep the official off him. They're going to reward Vicky, put Saparni Azov on the clock. Big moment here in this bronze medal match. Neither guy is getting to their offense. It almost has a feeling like it could be a 1-1 bout come the six-minute mark. Throw opportunity both ways. Brief over, under, set by Sarparni Azov. Now a trip attempt by the Uzbekistan wrestler. Looking over at the activity clock, Vicky is about to pick up his point, and he will have the criteria. And then he comes right in and nails them down for two. Oh, that was really textbook by the young 23-year-old from India. Right as he secured the point, he went right in. That's what you're taught to do. And secures the match's first takedown. Not to the delight of the Uzbekistan corner. He is in on the leg, but he gave up on it. Craig, he had a pretty good chance of maybe finishing. He carouseled in, had it, but then bailed out pretty quickly. Shot once again by Saparni Azov. Rises up to his feet, still has his right hand clamped around the left thigh of Vicky. It's going to be tough for him to hold that grip. Tried to reach around with his left hand. Vicky's not going to allow that. Vicky does just enough to kind of get under the opponent's skin. You saw him put his hand on the face. He's having some success now, and he is taking over this match. You can just see the deflated Saparni Azov not putting much, much resistance on that last takedown. 5-1 lead. Vicky from Parterre can't get much done there, and a challenge is going to be issued, and the challenge is going to come from Uzbekistan. I think that was an inadvertent punch of the button. I don't, wasn't sure what they were going to challenge. That was about as clean a two as you could see. So sometimes these coaches get animated near the corner and they inadvertently punch the big red button, which is by their seat. Solid win for India. They will win the bronze medal here at 92 kilos. Final 5-1. to one. Back in the Asian Championships for the first time since 2019. He has silver medal, and now he has won the bronze, and that is going to be it. 5-3, your final. They give a late caution to Vicky, but it won't matter. Frustration from Saparni Azov. He then got tired of all those hands to the head and hands to the face over six minutes, and he delivered one final blow of his own at the end there. A little pleasantry in Ula Batar. India wins bronze at 92. Vicky able to discover his offense late.